Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick video about how I make my 1000 calorie protein smoothie shake. So I hope you enjoy it and all the links to the products I use are listed down below. So enjoy, bye. So the first thing I do in the morning is use my fish oils and also use my mecha root tablets. This two things have made a huge difference in my weight gain and my hunger, my appetite for the past few months. So this has really, really helped me gain weight and also, you know, gain that booty as well so i recommend using this every morning i use four maca root um in the morning and i also use one fish oil tablet in the morning first thing and this issue creates an appetite so i can eat that 1000 calorie protein shake next i weigh so next thing, the key thing is to count your calories um sometimes you might think you're eating a lot but you're not eating at a calorie deficit or calorie surplus yes a calorie surplus so key things to weigh your food I'm not to get too obsessed with it, but just a way to get an idea of how much you should eat and how many calories it is. So you have a weighing scale that's very cheap. So I bought one from either Amazon or your local stores. I can also list down below where you can get a weight scale from. First key ingredient is almond milk. I do not drink dairy, as you guys know. I cut out dairy. I do still have dairy once in a while, but I've really not, you know, drank dairy that often anymore because it makes you really bloated it makes me personally bloated anyways so I weigh out my dairy so here today I've got like 117 milliliters but sometimes I add more sometimes I add less and also add water with it just so I can save money and not buy too much almond milk so yeah so I weigh that up and after that after that the next key ingredient is oats so today I'm using gluten-free oats but you can use any oats you want personally um, I've just got gluten free and I'm weighing that as well and that's my carbs and oats fill you up, they are great, um, they fill me up so well and they're just perfect for, you know, the smooth and I think the key ingredients as well to get your carbs in, get as much carbs and protein in the morning. So I've added some oats, it says 43 currently but I add more, oops, <laughs> I spilt some oats there but I'm going to clean up later on. So you add oats and I've also got another oat pack that I use that is not gluten free so you don't have to use gluten free so i finished my gluten free so i decided to switch to my quick oats so on average for me i tried to get at least um, 90 grams of oats in my protein smoothie you can increase or reduce depending on what i think i might eat during the day so if i feel i might have more carbs during the day i'm going out with friends um i might have more or less oats during the day so i weigh that you know have your fun with it you know measure up what you need and also count your calories you can use my fitness pal to help you count your macros and your calories but this is just i've kind of change things i kind of add things depending on how i feel but the key ingredients for me are you know the almond milk the oats for sure the protein powder but yeah so i weigh that up so next i weigh in the protein powder so i do use three scoops of beef isolate i should have a clip of the protein powder i use but i use beef isolate i do not use whey protein i do not use dairy it's going to get me really bloated so i use three scoops and that it should weigh around 90 i think on the clip here I only got up to 80 with three, three scoops, but I did add an extra later on. And I begin by blending up. So my blender's already filled up. So I'm gonna blend it up, reduce, you know, the size of everything, blend it up together, and also add some more ingredients after. So next I start by having fun pretty much, so I've added my key ingredients, next I add some berries, some summer fruits, and you know this is mostly carbs, a bit of sugar as well, it makes your protein smoothie taste really good. I also do add bananas, but I did not have bananas with me on this specific day, but I had two bananas and that literally adds it up to 1000 calories, but today I don't have bananas, so that's a shame, but I do add bananas to that. I had two bananas to my protein shake, and that literally is a thousand or sometimes 950, depends on how much I add or reduce, but use my fitness pal to help you calibrate your cal calculate your calories and your macros too. So 
I finally am tasting my smoothie. I've blended everything up together. I've added my oats. I've added my protein powder. I've added my almond milk. I've added my bananas normally. And my summer fruits. And it tastes really good. You know, pretty colour. Just have fun with it. Change your ingredients. But the key thing to help me finish this smoothie is actually just to use maca root in the morning. If I don't use maca root, I don't have an appetite normally. And this just helps me actually finish this protein smoothie because it's okay to make it but if you don't finish it it's not worth it and obviously i eat other things apart from that during the day but this is the main thing i use so i hope you enjoyed the video guys i hope you've gained some tips and i just love this smoothie and this has helped a lot since i've tried to use the recipe and use macaroon and use fish oils and you know all these have all contributed to me gaining weight you know working out better in the gym and i absolutely love it so tell me what you think and if you want more videos from me let me know all the links are listed below and have a nice day guys love you all bye